ladies and gentlemen, for your dining entertainment, it is now my pleasure to introduce a wonderful woman. Tonight she's going to share some of her original songs with us. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Robin Inwald. <laughs> actually a Buddhist song. I didn't know it was a Buddhist song until I came to China. Okay, a little louder so. than that. One more time. They're not gonna mess with me. I'm not gonna change. Let the wrinkles come. Let the fat rearrange. I'm proud to be my model self. And in my next life, then, only then I'll be someone else. Has everybody had enough to eat lately? Yes. <laughs> well, I, I think it's great, especially our lunch today. The moral of the song is not to eat a lot or gorge yourself until you feel your buttons pop. But when the world has given you a rotten break, there's nothing wrong with kicking back with chocolate cake. When you've got a problem and you think it's the end, make an extra large pizza into your best friend. I heard some of you sing beautiful harmonies to Happy Birthday in Chinese. So I think we could have high and low harmonies here on the chorus. So please chime in when you feel the boots. When you love me right, I will take you deep in my heart. Thing I 
experience that that maybe proudest moment because proudest the timeline moment. is going to take. That's right. Yeah, All right. So let's let's moment. do our proudest moment for tomorrow. <laughs> Happy and and joyous are a few words, and there are many many words in our language for the negative emotions. Can you say some of them? Trauma. Frustration. Frustration. Unhappy. Unhappy. Depression. The idea is to try to learn techniques to focus on the positive, learn techniques so that you can go on your next cruise and write about everything that, that interests you and everything that's good. Writing is always fiction because even if you think you're being absolutely honest about your life, well, you have your view and then the person next to you who's traveled with you and knows you a little <laughs> bit uh, has a completely different view. And if you ask ten people, you might get ten opinions. So. You're, you are writing fiction in a sense, though it's based on your real life and your impressions and perceptions. So it's not terrible to leave out something that embarrasses you. Just watch her fingers, she knew which notes to strike, and I would sit down and try to imitate her. And I didn't have a lot of happy moments, at the time, <coughs> but when I was in seventh grade, I had grown suddenly. I was about 12, and I realized my athletic prowess. I realized that I could run faster and do things better, throw balls better than almost all the others. Popped to mind. So a joyous experience took some thought. I do remember the elation that I experienced when learning to ride a two-wheel bike. I remember an older, used. <coughs> I'm writing, writing to her as, as everyone's <coughs> talking. Yes. Because, and and, you, and yeah. you hear when you listen to each other, when you listen to each, when you listen to yourself, you say, "Oh, these are bad memories," or "Oh dear." And, and then when you listen, do you feel that that sense of, of wonderment that yeah. that every every person's life is so fascinating?